How's it going guys, Hyper here. So today I wanted to share with you guys the new 7.2 Death Knight animation and pet model update. So they updated Howling Blast, Death and Decay, Death Grip for all three specs, Death Coil, as well as both pet models for Unholy. Let's get started. First up, we have Howling Blast. So the old animation was really bland and you couldn't really tell if you were hitting anything with it and how many targets you were hitting. Now I really like the update they made. So with this new animation you basically point out your sword and a big beam of ice comes out. And you can really tell your main target that you're hitting and also it bounces to all the other targets you hit. So you can see here that after hitting the initial target you can actually see it bouncing to multiple targets which is really nice especially when there's a bunch of mobs around and you can see exactly how many you hit. Also, it just looks really awesome. Next up, we have Death and Decay. So the old one looked pretty decent, and it was really easy to see. My only problem with the new one is that it's difficult to see. Now, the design looks really nice, and if it had a bit of more of a contrast, it would actually be really cool. But I think it's going to be difficult to see, especially when there's a bunch of mobs around. I really hope they tweak this a little bit, just to be a little bit more visible. Next up, we have Death Grip. So the old Death Grip was just a purple beam. Now the new one, you can actually see the chain hitting the target. And then there will be glyphs to modify your Death Grip to be blue, green, or red, depending on whichever one you prefer. Next up, we have Death Coil. So the old Death Coil animation looked kind of like an auto attack. And they made the new Death Coil animation look really nice and a little bit more distinct by sticking out your weapon and actually making it look like you're casting a spell rather than just auto attacking and a death coil coming out. Let's move on to the pet models. So the old pet model has been the same since pretty much Wrath of the Lich King, so it's due for a revamp. Now it was missing a lot of pixels and it just looked kind of bland. Now the new one, I really like. They added a nice texture to it, they changed the color pattern just a little bit even though they kept the same theme. Now I really hope they go somewhere with the Dark Transformation one because that one is also a little bit lackluster and I really hope they change it just a little bit, maybe tweak up the color pattern or something like that to make it look like this new one. The Abomination Pet model I think looked horrible. The animation of it and the whole texture just looked poorly done. I really like where they went with this new one, adding a bunch of shaders, changing the color pattern, making it a little bit darker, and adding some nice lighting effects to it, which I think makes this pet really awesome. Before the change, if Abomination didn't provide so much utility, I would have never picked this talent, but now I'm actually excited to play it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of the new animations in the comment section below. Also, consider subscribing for more future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.